Hey guys, Brian J here. Welcome to another episode of Nuclear Throne. And today I'm going to play as a character who I actually got requested to play as. The single most adorable character in Nuclear Throne. Horror. Aw, look how cute they are. Horror's an interesting character. Horror has a really, really useful passive. And a really, really good active, too. Horror's just a really good character. You just need to learn to manage the two of them. Uh, in sync with each other. And I'll explain what that means in just a second. We're going to be able to see Horror's passive pretty much immediately. Screwdriver's not that good, but I'm going to do this anyway. Horror's passive is that instead of four mutations, they get a choice of five. Ooh. Hello there. So, with that out of the way, Horror also has a very interesting active ability. Our right-click ability is the Rad Beam. Rad Beam uses up the rads, the green in the upper left corner, your experience, essentially. But if you kill an enemy with it, you get back all the experience you paid. Just to kill that enemy, anyway. So, you know, you are using up experience, but you can get the experience back. But even then, because you have a wider selection of uh, mutation to choose from, you usually can end up with a good build. Also, the longer you hold down the red beam, the more powerful it becomes. Okay. Yeah, we don't need two bullet guns. That's an odd sentence. Hey. Uh, don't really want any of these. So we'll do patience. Horror is just one of those characters who really doesn't have a downside. Like, I don't even use the red beam all that much when playing as horror. I kind of sometimes forget they have it. Until we get to, you know, fully leveled. And that's just because, you know, usually I value experience over the weapon. I'll try to keep using it, you know, during this to show it off, though. Yes, I prefer the crossbow, actually. <laughs> Lee. Alright, can I at least get... Thank you. And rabbit ball. Uh, frankly, bolt marrow is a little overpowered. It's, like, by far the best mutation besides... Strong spirit. Health. Wrench. So, a couple of people had mentioned, you know, they want to see me do more weeks of. So, if you check the comments, I've left a comment listing some of the games I'm considering doing for future weeks of. Let me know which of those sound interesting, which one you'd like to see me do, and honestly, any other ideas you have. I'm pretty much open to any and all games for weeks of. Roguelikes, indie games, retro games, modern games, just anything, really. So if there's something you'd like to see me try out for a week, let me know. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. All right, we officially have a boss killer. Now, the only thing we need is a better weapon than the assault rifle. And we'll be golden. Also, some health would be nice. What? Hello? What? Where is... There's another enemy? Where did you come from? Now I gotta walk all the way over there. 
Grumble, grumble, mumble, grumble. I'm gonna kill you so hard. Uh, these are all good, but honestly, we could use health. Big dog. All right, let's just start filling him with arrows and rads. Man, the rad gun is powerful. Incidentally, arrows and rads is in fact the name of my album coming out. By now, beat the rush. So the really nice thing about the heavy crossbow is it often will kill stuff off screen. Like it has so much piercing damage. All right, give me something really good. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, this is about as good of a weapon as we're ever gonna get. Gatling Slugger, like I've said is a genuine top tier item. Uh, faster feet, rhino skin. Yeah, let's get some more health. I'd like to stay alive more. Because fun fact, this is like my fourth or fifth time recording. Because the other times recording, I died so quickly it wouldn't make a good video. And these weeks of aren't just about, oh, you know, I'm gonna just post whatever happens. For this week, I want to show some Really good levels. Really good runs. Really good horrors. Actually, the recording before this, I died on 1 1 because I had the wrong weapon selected and blew myself up. Which you think I would be immune to having so much experience in this game, but it turns out to be an error I'm still capable of making. Oh, God bless you, Gatling Slugger. You also notice I'm saving... Oh, the Eraser. I'm not going to take it, but the Eraser's cool. Eraser's really good, but Gatling Slugger is just straight up better. Scare your face. Okay. Oh boy. Nothing but wide open areas. Not good for fighting Little Hunter. Oh god. Please die. Oh, he died. Get away from me! You've gone? Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna get the wave gun. Let me just show you what it does. It's another shotgun weapon. It goes. Basically, just shoots a huge spread. Again, I do not think we're gonna find anything better than the Gatling Slugger, so this is staying with us forever. Pew, pew. Was that the thing that I think the thing was? That was so close to being a sentence. The hyper rifle! Nice. I'm gonna stick with heavy crossbow. Oh, hi. I'm not falling for that again. No. What? That's it? That was one of the shortest levels I've ever seen. There were like four enemies. Oh my god, look at it down there. Okay, bullet hell seems to have eased up a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, let's grab this. 
pew and furthermore pew. There we go. Man, we do not have that much, uh, experience. We're only level 7. Oh, the IDPD didn't even spawn this time. Stay back, dogs. Stay back. Okay, good. And come on, give us a level up. Thank you. All right, last level up before the throne. Uh, uh. Do I really like any of these? Let's take open mine. Oh my god. Nah. Again, a super slugger, fantastic item. But the Gatling Slugger is just plain better. Hello, the throne. Should I sit on the throne this time? You know what? Nah, let's loop. Fight me, coward! That's actually a good way to trick out the throne Is to stand in the middle like this To bait out the beam Oh god, it isn't falling for it Alright, now We just shoot Oh, right! I forgot! The horror beam... ...can get killed by the throne. Damn it! I should have just gone for the throne kill. The horror beam can stop bullets. That... I feel like that's the first time I've died to the throne in a long time. I got so distracted thinking about the horror beam and the way it stops bullets. And how... The horror beam stopping bullets could have saved me. Kind of a paradox, but there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more videos two times a week from Game Boy Roulette, Dollar Store Gaming, 10 Things You Missed, and much, much more. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.